guys, and welcome back to the next edition of Riding with Ryan. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about a work-life balance and how important it is. So I noticed a lot on Twitter that a lot of these guys are bragging about how they are going to be so successful because they trade all day, they chart all night, they stay home all weekend, and they chart, and they study, and they try to figure things out. And a lot of these guys will flat out tell you, oh yeah, I don't spend time with my family because I want to be really successful so I can provide for them, or what have you. And I really just wanted to approach this whole work-life balance thing because it is so critical for you guys to understand how important this truly is. Because you cannot be successful, especially in this training game, if you overwork yourself. There is a critical balance between work and and life and you know your social life and pleasure. So you know a lot of people that work you know 40 hours a week or you know they work 60, 80 hours a week, they get the double time, overtime, and they get extra pay. Well guess what? For traders, we can work 60, 80 hours a week and we can still lose money. Or we can work 30 minutes in the morning and make two, three thousand dollars. Now, don't get me wrong, it takes years to perfect your strategy and hone your strategy and get things dialed in. And once you get that to that point, obviously things get a little bit easier where you have a set, you know, you have set rules uh, that you follow that you know that help, you know, increase your consistency and your profitability. And once you get all those things in play and you understand exactly how your process works, it starts to alleviate and free up more and more time. But I guess one of the things that bothers me the most when I see is, you know, a lot of these guys on social media, they're extremely proud about working all weekend. I'm going to be successful because I stayed home all weekend and worked while my family and kids were out having fun. Like, I'm doing this for them. All right. First off, your kids would rather you be home. Uh, yes, money is, is fine and nice. But at the end of the day, money is a tool. You know, money doesn't bring you happiness. Even rich people have problems. You know, it's like really what it comes down to is your health. And we only have time once in our life. Time is by far our greatest commodity. You know, once it's gone, it's gone. I've got two sons. One is 21 and the other is 14, going on 15 this year. He just went to high school his first time. I, you know, Google always sends me these things that says, this was six years ago, this was seven years ago. My God, what happened to the time? Like, I look back and, like, my youngest was, he was so little. You know, he was tiny. And now he's grown. And it happened in a blink of an eye. And I want to emphasize the fact that the work-life balance is so critical here. Because you will miss things in your life that you will regret for the rest of your life if you don't take the time right now to focus on those things. And I am not saying that you can't work a lot. What I'm saying is, is working through all these special moments is not worth it. My mom always told me, find something that you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life. Well, guess what? I love to trade. And for me, trading is amazing because every day is a new adventure and it's fun. And you know, it's, it's always something fresh. It's not a mundane environment. But at the same time, you know, it, because just because I don't think it's work, doesn't mean that it's not work. And so, you know, I have to have these set rules in place to step away. I often step away during the day as well, just to kind of get a fresh, fresh set of eyes, a fresh mind on things, you know? So guys, this is one tip, one professional trader to another. I have 19 years in this business now. I turned 41 this year, uh, in August actually. And it was my 19th year in trading. And these are small lessons that I have learned the hard way that I'm passing along to you that I hope that you listen to. Make sure you take the work-life balance. Make sure you set some structure in your trading day. Make sure you take some time for yourself or your family, or whoever it is, but make sure you have that balance because it's absolutely imperative for your success. I can assure you that if you continue to sit at that computer all the time, you will make mistakes, you will have more losing trades, and you will overtrade. I guarantee it. And anybody who's in this business more than a minute knows that overtrading is one of the biggest killers of this business. Like I said, time is our greatest commodity. If you spend it all in front of that screen, you're going to regret it. I guarantee it. Don't let your family life pass you by. Don't let your youth pass you by. And if you're not young, even like, you know, I'm not super young anymore, I'm 40. But, but damn, I'm 40 and life's great. Trading has provided a wonderful lifestyle for me. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna spend the next 10, 15 years in front of the screen. 
I'm going to get out there and I'm actually going to enjoy myself. I'm going to enjoy some of this, enjoy some of the freedom that trading provides. I mean, that's why we're here, right? I mean, yes, we're all here to make money because everybody knows you can buy a Porsche like this one or, you know, whatever. Like, you know, trading provides the houses and the toys and the cars and the girls and blah, blah, blah. But really what's more important about trading is it provides that not only the lifestyle, but it provides the leisure and the time to do whatever it is I want to do. And if you spend the whole time in front of the screen, you're never going to get to enjoy your life. You're going to waste the time with the people around you, and you will be sorry later that you did not take advantage of your work-life balance. So I hope you guys take this to heart. Keep following. I'll see you in the next video, and we're going to continue to conquer these markets. I'll see you soon.